the one will be taken and the other left. Revelation 3, verse 10. These things says he, Jesus Christ, who is holy, he, Jesus Christ, who is true. Because you, pre-tribulation believers, have kept my command to persevere, I, Jesus Christ, also will keep you at the being caught up together from the hour of trial, the seven-year tribulation, which shall come upon the whole world, Satan's world, to test those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who dwell on the earth. Revelation 4, verse 1. After these things, I, John, looked, and behold, a door standing and open in heaven, and the first voice of Jesus Christ, which I, John, heard, was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here into heaven, and I, Jesus, will show you things, the seven-year tribulation, which must take place after this, after the being caught up together. Matthew 24, verses 36 to 39 and 42. And Jesus answered and said to them, But of that day and hour, the being caught up together, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father, God Almighty only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ at the being caught up together be. For as in the days before the flood, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know, i.e. they were oblivious to what was coming, until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, at the being caught up together be. Watch, be spiritually alert, therefore, for you, fellow believers, do not know what hour your Lord Jesus Christ is coming at the being caught up together. Luke 17, verse verses 28 to 30 and 34 to 37. Then he, Jesus, said to the disciples, Likewise, as it was also in the days of Lot, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built, I either oblivious to what was coming. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is revealed at the being caught up together. I, Jesus, tell you, fellow believers, in that night of the being caught up together, there will be two men in one bit. The one, pre-tribulation living believers, will be taken, snatched away into heaven by Jesus himself. And the other, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will be left to endure the seven-year tribulation. Two women will be grinding, i.e. working together. The one, pre-tribulation living believers, will be taken, snatched away into heaven by Jesus himself. And the other, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, left to endure the seven-year tribulation. Two men will be in the field working. The one, pre-tribulation living believers, will be taken, snatched away into heaven by Jesus himself, and the other false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers left to endure the seven-year tribulation. And they, Jesus' disciples, answered and said to him, Where, Lord? So he, Jesus, said to them, Wherever the spiritual body is, there in heaven the eagles, pre-tribulation dead believers, and pre-tribulation living believers, will be gathered together. Luke 21, verses 34 to 36. But take heed, pay close attention to yourselves, fellow believers, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life and the natural body. And that day the seven-year tribulation come on you unexpectedly. For it, the seven-year tribulation, will come as a snare on all those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who dwell on the face of the whole earth, i.e. Satan's world. Watch, be spiritually alert, therefore, and pray always that you, fellow believers, may be counted worthy to escape at the being caught up together all these things, the seven-year tribulation that will come to pass, and to stand in heaven before the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51-53. to Behold, I tell you, fellow believers, a mystery. We, pre-tribulation believers, shall not all sleep, die a physical death of the natural body. But we, pre-tribulation believers, shall all be changed, an instantaneous supernatural change in our spiritual bodies, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in a millisecond, at the last blowing of the trumpet. For the trumpet of God Almighty will sound, and the dead, pre-tribulation dead believers, will be raised alive, incorruptible in their spiritual bodies. And we, pre-tribulation living believers, shall be changed, an instantaneous supernatural Natural change into our spiritual bodies. For this corruptible, the natural body, must put on incorruption, the spiritual body, and this mortal, the natural body, must put on immortality, the spiritual body. 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 15 through 17. For this we say to you, fellow believers, by the word of the Lord, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that we, pre-tribulation living believers, who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, at the being caught up together, will by no means precede be taken into heaven by Jesus himself, those pre-tribulation dead believers who are asleep, died a physical death of the natural body. 
For the Lord Jesus Christ himself would ascend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and the trumpet of God, God Almighty. And the dead in Christ, pre-tribulation dead believers, will rise alive in their spiritual bodies first. Then we, pre-tribulation living believers, who are alive and remain on earth for the moment, shall be instantaneously supernaturally changed in our spiritual bodies, and then caught up together with them, pre-tribulation dead believers, in the clouds far above the earth, to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the air, and be taken into heaven by Jesus. Jesus himself. And thus we, pre-tribulation dead believers and pre-tribulation living believers, shall always be for eternity, forever, with the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 1 through 11. But concerning the times and the seasons of Holy Bible prophecy, brethren, fellow believers, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, the being caught up together, so comes as a thief in the night, with no warning. For when they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. The seven-year tribulation begins as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. They, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, shall not escape the seven-year tribulation. But you, brethren, fellow believers, are not in darkness, the blindness of Satan, so that this day the being caught up together should overtake you as a thief, as a surprise. You, fellow believers, are all sons of light and sons of the day, children of God Almighty. We, fellow believers, are not of the night, nor of of darkness we are not children of Satan. Therefore let us, fellow believers, not spiritually sleep as others, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers do, but let us, fellow believers, watch and be sober, spiritually alert. For those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who spiritually sleep, sleep at night, and those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who get drunk through Satan are drunk at night. But let us, fellow believers, or of the day, children of God Almighty, be sober, spiritually alert, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation, i.e. the whole armor of God Almighty. For God, God Almighty, did not appoint us, fellow believers, to wrath, God Almighty's wrath during the seven-year tribulation, but to obtain salvation, everlasting life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension. That whether we wake, pre-tribulation living believers, or we sleep, pre-tribulation dead believers, we, pre-tribulation believers, should live together for eternity, forever, with Him, Jesus Christ. Therefore, comfort each other, fellow believers, and edify, teach one another Holy Bible prophecy prophecy, just as you also are doing. Fellow believers, Jesus Christ abides within us through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ walks with us. The Holy Spirit teaches us, and most importantly, God Almighty watches over us, always. Remember, the being caught up together is imminent. May our Lord Jesus Christ find you going about the Father's business, which is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ as a good and faithful servant. Amen.